Hello friends, welcome to a video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. Here is few set of questions related to constraints. Let's start with the first question. Does creating a primary key constraint always create an index automatically? The answer is yes, but not always. Let me take you through two examples so that you will be able to understand by yourself when a constraint will automatically create an index and when it will not create an index. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a table called employee. Since I have already created, I'm just dropping it. So I'm creating a table called employee. Now I'm creating a primary key constraint. So now let us check whether the constraint is created. Now you can see the constraint, a primary key constraint is created on the employee table. Let us check the user index data dictionary table to see whether an index is created. You'll be able to see an index is created and you can see the type of the index. It is an unique index. Okay, so the answer is whenever we are creating a primary key constraint, Oracle will automatically create a unique index on the table. So this is the scenario one. So now let me drop the table and I will show you the second scenario. So again, I'm creating the table. This time I'm creating an index called T1 on the employee number column. So now let me show you the constraint table. There is no constraint because we have dropped the table and you can see there is one index that is T1 and it is a non-unique index. Okay, that a table contain a non-unique index. Now what I'm doing, I'm altering the table to create the primary key. Now if we check the user constraint, a constraint is created because just now we have altered the table. Now if you check the index, a new index is not created. Okay, because this index we just created before creating the constraint. So that is why I told Whenever we are creating a constraint, Oracle will create an index in case if the column is not indexed already. If the column is already indexed, then Oracle will not create a new index. Okay, let us see our second question. Will dropping the constraint will drop the index automatically? Again, the answer is yes, but not always. Let me take you through the same two scenarios again. So let us drop the table so what i'm going to do i'm going to take you through the first scenario i'm creating the employee table i'm creating the constraint as expected we will have one constraint created and then index automatically created so the index type is unique fine now what i'm going to do i'm just going to drop the constraint so when you drop the constraint obviously the constraint will get dropped and if you check the index the index also will get dropped automatically provided the index was created automatically while the constraint was created. Okay. Now let us see the second scenario. So let me drop the table. I'm creating the table again. I'm creating the index T1. So let's check whether the constraint is created. There is no constraint. The index T1 is created. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create the constraint. Yes. Now the constraint is created. Let us check whether the constraint is created or not. Fine. Now I'm going to drop the constraint. Now if we see now the constraint is dropped. Now if we check the constraint would have dropped, but the index would not have dropped. Okay. So the answer is whenever we are dropping a constraint, the associated index will get automatically dropped provided that index was created as part of the constraint creation. Otherwise the index will not get dropped. Fine. Let's see the third scenario will dropping a table will drop the underlying index. Yes, the answer is whenever we are dropping the table, all the associated index constraints and triggers will get automatically dropped. Let me show you the example quickly. So anyway, uh, okay, so first let me just create the table. So let me create the constraint. Now if you see the constraint is created, the index is automatically created. Now if we drop the table, the constraint would have dropped automatically and the index also would have dropped automatically. Okay, let's go ahead with the fourth question. Can a primary key creates a non-unique index? In the first scenario, I told that whenever we are creating a constraint that is a primary key constraint, Oracle will automatically create an index of unique type. But here the question is, can a primary key creates a non-unique index? Yes, in some scenarios, a primary key will create a non-unique index. Let me take you through one such scenario. So first, let me drop the table. Yeah, anyway, the table is already dropped. 
so now what i'm going to do i'm just creating the table now what i'm going to do i'm just going to create the constraint by specifying the differable no validate keyword okay now the constraint is created now let us check whether the constraint is created or not yes the constraint is created let us check the index now if you see the index is created but see here it is created with non-unique type okay so in some scenarios even the primary key constraint will create a non-unique index okay let's see the fifth question so we can use the index or the unique constraint in fact both will help us to enforce the uniqueness on a particular column but what is the difference or when can i go ahead and create an index or when can i go and go ahead and create the constraint in fact this i have explained in detail with lot of example in the subscriber question series i just want to give you the key points whatever i have discussed there i would suggest you to watch that particular video because for each and every point i have clearly explained with some examples so let me just give you the points very quickly the constraint will automatically create a index but not always as i showed you some example just before constraint is mainly for data integrity whereas an index is for performance improvement another one more very important point foreign key constraint can be created over a unique key constraint only that means a foreign key constraint has to refer a, refer a unique key constraint column but not on a unique index column sometimes you are interested in creating only the unique index but not the unique constraint in fact for each and every point i have explained with an example in this video i would suggest you to watch this video the link of this video is given in the description one more very key point what i have explained in this video is the uh, differable no validate keyword uh, in fact i have explained about this particular keyword in detail in the previous video that is in the video number 61 i have given the link of that video in the description i would suggest you to watch through that video for a better understanding of when the non unique type of index will be created when i when i create the primary key constraint if you want any other questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether your question is already posted as part of the subscriber question or as part of the previously posted interview question if not please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post as a new video if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql concept videos and practical questions thanks a lot for watching this video please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel thank you